I got an add-on. And do you notice there's no mention of kilometers? Hey, welcome back. It's your girl Shanna, and we are going out for a ride along tonight for about two hours. Let's see what we can get done. I hope <laughs> that it will be not crazy busy because I know it's unrealistic. It's a beautiful day today. And in my area, when it's a beautiful day, people like to go out, they like to eat in the restaurant, on the terrace, and all that kind of stuff. So I know it's not going to be crazy busy, but I'm hoping to get like some decent orders because what I've been seeing so far has not been that great. Fingers crossed we can get some things done tonight. Hopefully like 40, 50 bucks. That would be great. And uh, let's see what we can get done. Let's go to St. Hubert. Hopefully it's ready. It's a tiny order. I would have so long for it. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> so I got that tiny order and I went to drop it off and it's an apartment building. So I'm like, okay, let me look for apartment eight. And as I walked into the building, someone was there and they opened up the door for me and they're looking at me. So I'm like, Did, are you waiting for an order? They're like, yes, from St. Hubert. And I was like, yes, under which name? And then he's like, Deborah, but it looks like a man. So I was like, okay. So I gave them the order and they gave me an extra $5 tip, which I'm very appreciative of. But then I'm like, what if it wasn't really their order? <laughs> Cause I swear it's really not often when I drop something off and I'm like, this just feels weird. <laughs> like. It didn't feel like it was their order, but they had all the right information. So I'm like, maybe it is their order and I'm just like freaking out for nothing. Ugh, Uber has been horrible tonight. You know, it's tough. So I got this order and I was like, oh, it's small, but whatever. I'm not getting anything. This is my second order since I've been out here and it's delivering close to my house. What's really tough is when it's slow like this, and I get an order that's bringing me close to my house because then I just want to go home. Does it feel that way for you? Like, it's super slow. That's not sketchy at all. <laughs> this, um, it's one of those like outdoorsy where you can go buy plants and dirt and flowers and all that kind of stuff but it's a huge one but they're closed so like the gates up and everything but there's this guy standing inside of the gate just looking <laughs> inside the doors doesn't look sketchy at all <laughs> anywho but yeah does that ever happen to you where like it's so dead and then you get an order going close to home and you're like i might as well just go home that's exactly how i feel and as i was passing my street i got this order with skip it's going really far, but I'm like, I like the idea of $18 and I'm not doing anything. So might as well. Let's see. So we'll go pick it up, drop it off. And hopefully we get something from one of the restaurants down there to bring me back up. But every time I say that, it never happens. But I'm trying to remain positive and hopefully that's what happens. So yeah, let me know if that ever happens. Like when you set yourself a goal or you go out there to work and then you get an order that brings you close to home and it's dead do you go home <laughs> the next day and we're back out <laughs> happy saint jean for those that celebrate saint jean and uh let's see what we can get done left the house it was 5 30. hopefully we can get some decent sized orders tonight i looked back at my video this is one thing about having a youtube channel it's great you can look back at your videos I looked at my videos from last year on this day to see how it was and it was pretty quiet and there were road closers just like there are today so I need to keep that into consideration when I select my orders. So I got the first order it was pretty straightforward it went right on my sheet so I was like all right then I was like oh my gosh it's been kind of slow like the orders coming in have not been that great and then I got this one and I was like that's a weird number 1122 or something like that that it said and I was like ah why not so I took it and then while I was waiting I got an add-on and do you notice there's no mention of kilometers so I was like uh so I'm looking at the like icons 
And I go, yeah, it makes sense for an additional $7. So I took it. I had to drop off that customer first. So the second customer, that was the first drop off. And when I dropped it off, the order went up to $13. I was like, what? Thank you, customer. <laughs> so now I'm dropping off the first order. Like her ice in her Wendy's drinks are gonna be melted by now. <laughs> and then it said the customer changed the address as I'm driving here, like what? I got this order to go to Subaki Bar and I was like, yeah, why not? <laughs> you know how DoorDash, like <laughs> you're not gonna see a big amount on DoorDash orders, right? At the beginning. So went and picked it up, dropped it off. And then I got this Uber order at the same time that I was doing the drop off. So I was like, sure. Then I went home so that uh, we could bring the children to get Mr. Puffs and ice cream. So it took about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes and dropped them off. And as I was dropping them off, I got this double order here. Now it told me to go to one of the restaurants first and then backtrack and then backtrack again to drop off. I'm like, no, <laughs> I'm going to go to the restaurant that's right next to my house and then i'm gonna go to the restaurant that's a little further away and then drop off that's what makes more sense and it's a good thing i did that because i had to wait at the now second restaurant which they wanted it to be the first one like that wouldn't have made any sense so now i'm doing the drop off and we'll see uh what else we can get tonight because it's already 9 10 so places are going to be closing very very soon This drop off is annoying. Oh, I usually have to drop off. So this is what it looks like. It's a whole bunch of high rises, right? Can't get run over. It's a whole bunch of high rises, but there's construction going on. So there's no parking. And I usually deliver for the other building and the parking lot is right next to it. The parking lot is right next to it. But this one, there's no parking lot. So I have to walk. That's not fun. Well, I took that Uber order to go to McDonald's and I was like, <coughs> if I get to McDonald's and the food's not ready, I'm dropping it. <laughs> Cause it's two drop offs. Yes, the price is good. It's $12, four kilometers, looks good, but it's still two drop offs. And there were two apartment buildings. Anyways, I got there. It was such a long lineup, but the food was ready. So I was like, yes, the food is ready. Perfect. So I dropped off the first order and the fireworks started. So I got you a little clip here of the fireworks so you can see what it looks like. Look at the fireworks. and then i went to drop off the second order which is right next to the fireworks and i ran up the steps left it there took the picture and i noticed that the customer put like please put extra ketchup and salt in the bag so instead of just saying like hello your order's at your door enjoy blah 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 I was gonna put, uh, please note that, um, like the notes for the ketchup, we only see that when I'm driving to your house. Like, I'm, that's not for me, that's for the restaurant. So put it somewhere else kind of thing. But when I came outside, there was this man that was sitting there, he, he lives there. And he was super nice when I got there. I was like, bonjour, he's like, hello. I'm like, oh, hi, how are you? Like, you know, have a great night. And when I came out, I was like, have a great night. And he's like, oh, is that Uber Eats that you're doing? And I was like, yes. So we started talking and he's like, you know, do you make good money with it? And I was like, yeah, you know, the flexibility. And uh, he was like, oh, that's really cool. So we're standing there talking, talking. And I see someone like come to their window upstairs. I'm like, OK, it must be the customer whatever. So then I'm talking, talking, talking with him and I get the message. Are you bringing my food? And I was like oh i didn't send the message okay like send so i didn't put like the whole ketchup thing because i was like I, no 
the energy that you give is the energy that I'm going to give. That energy does not reward me to explain to you how the app works and where to put your notes so that you get your catch up. So I send the, hello, your order's at your door. Enjoy with the smiley face. I get another reply. My food is getting cold. Can you bring me my food? And in my head, I'm like, your food's at your door. Like, <laughs> why are you getting upset at me? Check your door. Like, <laughs> what is going on? This makes no sense. But since I had already sent the message, I couldn't reply to her message because, mm, don't, don't come at me like that because you didn't check your door. You see me standing outside, so you assume that I have your food in my bag because I have my bag with me. You assume that I have your food in my bag. I don't have your food in my bag. Your food is at your door. You ever had customers be rude to you like that? Like, <laughs> excuse me, who are you talking to? At the end of the day, like, I'm sure they stacked your order with that other order because you didn't tip or you didn't pay well. Let's see at the end what this is going to be. But oh my goodness. Today was a good night. It was good. I kept busy. There weren't like super big orders, but they were decent. Like they were okay. So I'll see how much I made. I'll tally it up and show it to you here with the Giga app, which will summarize everything for the day once all the tips comes in. And then we will see what we can get done tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow is going to be a busy day because all grocery stores were closed today. So I'm hoping that a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, I need groceries, especially since it's Sunday and that they order Instacart or something. So fingers crossed for you. It's gonna be like two seconds for me. It's gonna be whole night. Uh, let's go to Sunday the next day hello hello happy sunday it is a, a very foggy sunday over here it's not fog it's the forest fires <laughs> so it smells like forest fires outside not even barbecue because at least barbecue smells like food this literally just smells like fire so i am out here with my mask today because when i went out to go do groceries with the family by the way it's 5 30 and that's the time I'm leaving the house. When I went out uh, to go do groceries with the family today, my throat was semi burning towards the end of the shopping trip. Like we went, we did groceries, went to a few places, then we went and got some food. I don't know about you, but how many times do you go get groceries? You spend like a few hundred dollars on groceries and then you go and buy takeout. Like you go and buy food. Cause you're like, I'm tired. I'm not cooking. <laughs> So that's what we did when we went to go get the food. That's when I realized my throat was really burning me So I figured I will bring the mask and wear the mask when I'm outside today because Yeah, it's not a fun feeling. Uh, so I had this first order It was a double order and I went to pick it up both places was pretty smooth the first one it was ready the second one i just had to wait a little bit drop them off super close and then i got this order here i just had to wait maybe about three four minutes for the two pizzas and i'm dropping it off and let's see how much we can make tonight you want this to be on because you want the air to circulate inside the vehicle you don't want this to be on which is bringing the air from outside the vehicle so let's say if it's really hot or today it's really smoky out there you don't want this on because then that's coming inside the car just in case you didn't know and so this is weird. <laughs> no. Okay, so Uber now, before you used to go to opportunities to be able to see, oh, what's this? No. Before you used to go to opportunities to be able to see what promos they have, right? Nothing. What is this? Yeah, for Monday. Doesn't help me. Now, I notice it says you're close to reaching your quest goal. Drive one more trip to make an extra $8. It didn't show me in opportunities that I have that. When I click on it, it... What? No. It shows the quest like how it used to show before. Of course, Uber punishing me. This is pretty interesting. So now it's only from the main screen that we can see it and not from opportunities. As you see, opportunities, it's not there. That's so weird. Is that happening to you? I have not been to Billy Kay's in forever. I can't wait to go inside. Hopefully my friend's working. Let's go see. What's up with Billy Kay? Bello Burger. This looks good. 
oh my goodness that drop off was at he said that he was at the pool he was not at the pool he was at the soccer field next to the pool but there were so many people on the soccer field so i messaged him i'm like where are you exactly he's like pool dude you're not at the pool <laughs> you're on the soccer field so i walk over to the pool the pool's locked so i'm like i walked over to the pool and the pool's locked he's like i don't have my food i have your food in my bag <laughs> like where are you finally he's like okay i'm coming why didn't you do that from before like you know someone's coming why don't you come and greet them at the door at the gate to go into the pool no or to go into the soccer field so anyways i dropped off that order and he's like do you have a fork no he goes did they put a fork i'm like i don't know they just give us the bag unfortunately we can't open the bags he looks in he's like do you have a fork i'm like uh I can try and see if I have a fork in my car, like in a plastic. Luckily, I had one fork in my car. <laughs> so I gave him the fork. I was like, here you go. He's like, oh, thanks so much. So got that done. And then I dropped off this order. <laughs> it was a good order in the end. It came in at $11. I was like, yeah, I'll take it. And that's hidden tip indicator, but yeah, I'll take it. When I picked up the food, I'm like, oh, that's a lot of food. And then the guy was so nice. He's like, is it okay out there? I'm like, well, was, you know, my I put on the mask because he's like, yeah, it's hard to breathe out there. Huh? I'm like, yeah, well, my throat was just starting to like itch a little bit. So I'm like, oh, let me put on my mask. The customer tipped me $17. Now, I don't know if he changed the tip afterwards or if that was the original tip because it. What was that? Something really big just flew to my door. <laughs> what? I think it was one of the birds that were here. Anyways, based on like the size of the order, it could have just been that that was the original tip, but I am very much appreciative of that tip. Very, very much. And then I had another order, it was tiny, and now I'm at McDonald's to pick up this no tip order. Came in at $4.45, and then Skip gave me the $4 gear up. <sighs> two kilometers i'm like do i want to do it but i was sitting doing nothing so i'm like almost nine dollars for two kilometers really like you can't go wrong but it's just the principle that i know it's a no tip order it's like uh why <laughs> so let me go and pick this up i know it's mcdonald's i'm gonna wait i know it but there's not a lot of cars in the drive through so hopefully hopefully the order is ready or almost ready let's see I've been sitting here for almost 45 minutes to an hour and nothing good is coming in. There's things coming in, but they're horrible. This is crazy. Well, I had an entire hour where I did absolutely nothing but decline orders. An entire hour. And then I finally got one that was more than a dollar per kilometer. And it was actually a decent order. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna go home after this one because it's actually bringing me close to the house. And then as I close it off, I got this one to go to Wendy's. And I was like, hmm, this is actually a good one to go to Wendy's. I dropped that off. And then immediately I got this one to go to McDonald's. And I'm like, it's far, far but I could potentially get another order while I'm down there with Uber. So I took it. So now I'm on my way to McDonald's, go pick up this order, drop it off pretty much close to the McDonald's, and we'll see if I could get another McDonald's while I'm down there. An hour. Oh my God, I'm here and an old folks place. So it's locked, I called. No answer, went straight to the voicemail. I called the customer, he's like, oh geez. But look at all of these bugs everywhere. I don't know if you can see them on the camera, but like they're everywhere. I can't stand here. Oh my God. Well, that McDonald's order did end up being a mess. I got there, the order was pretty much ready. He was bagging it. And I was like, okay, it's not too bad. And then I saw where it was going. I thought it was going to the sketchy motel that's close by, but it wasn't. It's going to an old folks home. Like a, like a retirement home type thing. And obviously their doors are closed. 
so there's a buzzer and it says when you come and it's past uh, closing time to ring the bell I rang the bell it rings on like someone's phone but it was the answer machine so I'm like okay so then I contact the customer and I'm like hi I'm here with your order but there's nobody here he's like yeah you have to ring the bell I'm like I did and it went to voicemail he's like oh man he's like okay I'm gonna try to see if I can get someone to come free like come to you so now I'm like okay this is an old person like I spoke to him he sounds very old so I waited and waited and waited but there's a whole bunch of bugs everywhere I was like oh my gosh so finally I saw like you know the walkers I saw a walker passing at the window and I was like oh my goodness he's in a walker and then an employee saw him and then came to the door and got the bag and I was like have a good night he's like thank you I'm like thank you like I felt so bad <laughs> I couldn't bring him his order like to him but really like how do you not have anybody at the front desk? This makes no sense. Anyways, and I didn't get another order, so I just drove home because it's late. It's now 10.15, and I just pulled into my driveway. <laughs> it was a quick, short weekend, just the way I like it. I ended up going out pretty much evenings both weekends, but I was still able to hit at least $100, so that's a good thing. And that's why I love the flexibility with this other than like the hour where I waited today where there was nothing coming in I was able to keep busy multi-app which is so key and make over $100 so it's great I love it you definitely want to make sure that you're signed up to all of the apps so that you can maximize how much money you can make while you're out there and I'm sure you hear a multi-app in all the time there are good ways to do it there's bad ways to do it there's ways where you're going to be making a whole bunch of money an hour and then there's still times where it's going to be completely slow like it was for me today an hour no orders I had three apps on four if you count Instacart my goodness but if you want to see another video where I multi-app check out this video here like this one, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time. Bye.